Have you been thinking about making a move to the Metro Milwaukee area of southeastern Wisconsin? Well, I have a few tips that you need to think about before you call those movers. Okay, so the first thing that you should really be aware of before making that move to southeastern Wisconsin uh, has to do with our weather. In Wisconsin, we have four seasons, and that can be great. But realistically, our summers can be hot and humid, and our winters can be long, cold, and frigid. Uh, in the summertime, basically from about end of May, early June until the end of September, that's that's prime season here in Wisconsin. Um, you know, that's when we have our best weather, when everyone's outside doing things. But along with that nice weather comes humidity, and it can get pretty hot. You know, it's not uncommon to have. 90 degree days, things like that. And the humidity can be rather oppressive. It's just the way, it's just the way that it is. You know, along with the summertime comes mosquitoes that can kind of ruin people's outdoor, you know, picnics and things like that because we do get a lot of mosquitoes in the summer. And if you don't want to wear bug spray, they tend to bother you a lot. So when it comes to summertime and the downfalls, that's something to think about. Additionally, it's only about four months long, so it goes by really quick. And then by the time we get through fall and head into, into winter, you know, basically around Thanksgiving, the temperatures really start to drop and we'll be below freezing shortly after Thanksgiving. Um, and that lasts all the way through November, December, January, February, March, basically into March, sometimes even April. If you're not a fan of being outside in the cold and in the snow, then you're stuck inside for six to seven months out of the year. We have a lot of times where the temperatures can even get down below zero. So come January, February, it's not uncommon to have negative temperatures, five below, 10 below, things like that. And then if you add in the wind chill, we can see temperatures that feel as though it's 40, 50, 60, degrees below zero. So if you're not used to that extreme, it can be pretty, um, it can be pretty hard to, to deal with or get used to just as, you know, someone who's not from here after a while, you kind of get used to it, but it, it takes some time for sure. Another thing that people need to be aware of is the darkness in December, especially where we have the least amount of daylight. It's not uncommon that you're going to be waking up in the dark and going to work or school or whatever. And then you're coming home and it's already dark. So pretty much, you know, middle of December, it's, it's dark by four in the afternoon. So that can be uh, pretty unusual if you're not from the area, snow and ice that creates its own set of problems because we have to travel in it. We have to get to the store, get to work, get to school, things like that. And if you're not used to driving in slippery, icy conditions, that is definitely something that you should be aware of. It takes it takes some skills to navigate. It's not that the roads are instantly cleaned up. The municipalities do the best job they can, but storms happen during the middle of the day at all hours. So you might be stuck in, in driving in kind of treacherous, slippery conditions. And if that's not something you're accustomed to, it takes, again, it takes some time to learn how to maneuver a vehicle in those types of weather conditions. And then the other part of having all the snow is that you have to clean it up. If you live in a house, you're going to be the one out there, you know, doing the shoveling or the snow blowing. And you can always hire that out, but it's just an additional expense. So the second thing that people need to be aware of has to do with our property taxes. Wisconsin actually ranks eighth highest in the nation for property taxes. And that can add a lot of expense to your budget, so it's definitely something you want to consider. Property taxes are influenced by the local municipality and the budgets that they, they have for projects in their area, the public school system, and the funding that they need. That all ties into your property tax bill, and then the assessed value of your home as well. In the Milwaukee metro area, there's Milwaukee County, and then to the north is Ozaki County, and out to the west is Waukesha County. So Milwaukee County itself will typically have higher property taxes than either Ozaki County or Wa Waukesha County. The third and final item that I wanted to talk about today has to do with road construction. It seems like Wisconsin has been under construction <laughs> with the roads 
forever. Um, back before I became a realtor in 2014, I was, a, I was an electrician for 15 years at that point. And the last few years, so basically 2010 to 2014, I was working for a company uh, doing electrical work and we were just, we were doing all road construction projects. And it's crazy to think that almost 10 years later, some of those projects are still ongoing. The Wisconsin DOT actually lists 27 projects that are currently ongoing in southeastern Wisconsin. These can be simple resurfacing projects or various types of rehabilitation and reconstruction projects. We mentioned the cold winters at the beginning and the hot summers. All that temperature change really takes its toll on our roads. So it seems like potholes are constantly being fixed or repaired. In general, the, the infrastructure system around the Milwaukee County area has been deteriorating. So they're spending a lot of money to upgrade the highway system um, to accommodate the amount of traffic and just become a more modern transportation system that's easier for people to navigate. So there you have it. A few things to definitely think about before making that move to the Milwaukee, Wisconsin area. Uh, my team definitely helps people, you know, make moves here buy and sell every day. If there's anything that we can do for you, feel free to give me a call or text at the number that's on your screen.